Herzlich willkommen, liebe Basketballgemeinde, beim Pressegespräch unseres Finalturniers 2020. Heute sind wieder vier Akteure am Start, die morgen in der Gruppe B in den, an den letzten Partien beteiligt sind. Zum einen Berlins Kapitän Nils Giffey, dazu John Patrick, der Head Coach der MHP Riesen Ludwigsburg. Der angekündigte Josh, Josh Young ist angeschlagen, aber dafür haben wir seinen Teamkollegen Michael Kessens hier und dazu Bambergs Retin Obasohan. Hello guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. First of all, we have the Lagerkoller Barometer. If you put a group, uh, um, uh, a group together in one place, after some time, people start getting on each other's nerves. So one, my personal sun is shining brightly, 24. If you talk to me, I'm going to use physical violence. Huh. That's not too bad for me. I'd say 12. 12? So, yeah. Michael Kessen, zeigt eine 12. You got family? No. Uh, then it would be more because you yeah. miss him. Yeah. So, 18. Do I have to be honest? Yeah, of course! <laughs> <laughs> It's not like this is League TV. Be yeah, honest. Let me go... 24. One week. Uh, you own one week in a hotel and today it's raining on Sunday. 14 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so, wie, wie wir sehen, es geht voran. It's going forward with the Lager Collaborometer. Yeah, sure. um, you guys played three years at college together. Alabama Crimson Tide, baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Biggest success together? Who? What was it? Or any story? Yeah, stories we got plenty. Man. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can tell them here. <laughs> okay, j just give, give me one dirty one. <laughs> no, uh, we're not gonna do that. No, we had a, we had a great time at Alabama. Uh, obviously, we didn't know each other before that, and uh, we were uh, for most of the time the two only European guys in the team. So uh, we got together really well, and it's uh, it's not always easy when you're coming from Europe, especially in the South. So. Uh, Yeah, we are good friends now, and it's always cool to play against each other at the, at the next level. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was the first time, Redin, you, you, you played against each other here uh, uh, back in Europe? Um, it was my year at um, Gotha. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that's when you played in uh, Bremerhaven. And you played Bremerhaven? Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's okay, our first okay. time playing against each other so since college. Who won the first, first one, you remember? Uh, we won the first one, and then they won the second one. And, uh, yeah. So it's equal. It was, uh, it was even a. Uh, <laughs> no, what is it? Two one? No, it's three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. His way. Three one my way. Okay, but <laughs> tomorrow friendship is on hold, I guess. Yep. For What sure. will happen, Michael, when Retina is skyrocketing, skyrocketing to the rim? It's gonna uh, foul me. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got. We're gonna have to do our best to to uh, to play together as a team. I think in a tournament like this. Uh, especially a game like tomorrow for us is do or die, pretty much. It's a game seven. Uh, a lot of people see it as pressure. For us, it's no, no pressure. We're gonna give it all we got. We're gonna, we're gonna do whatever we can to to win the game. Like mm -hmm. every time when you step on the court. The um, um, both of you fight to get to the next round, and the situation is absolutely clear. Bamberg could lose by 28 and would nevertheless go to the next round. Fechter needs a win. To stay in the tournament, if you win by 10, then you you'll even be third in the group. Mm -hmm. So, 18, relaxed situation for you? Never, honestly. Um, much like Mike said, we're going in to compete. We're going in to win, and that should be our only focus. I think when you start thinking about 29 plus 10, it's more so a distraction. It takes yeah. away from your game plan. So, we will go in there, give it everything we have, and uh, compete to win. Of course, there were a lot of questions. Can you explain the up and downs of your team? First game up, second game down. In the third game, first half up, second half down, down same sheen. Would, how to explain that? I think it comes with, you know, we just have to improve as a team. Um, we got to stick to the game plan that coach presents to us. And then it's on us as players to, you know, be mature enough to go out there and stay consistent, you know, regardless if we played a good first game or you know, this first half of our second game was terrible. So I think that regardless of the ups and downs of a basketball game, we just really have to stay even kill and keep executing. Mm -hmm. Against uh, Frankfurt, it was, you were up 25 and they came back 
within 10. Right. It was like, like you think too early, okay, we got this one in the books. Exactly. You know, the game of basketball is a game of runs. You know, that's actually what our college coach used to say. And um, <laughs> that's the thing. The game is never over. So, um, you know, when we're up, you know, 20 plus, it should never be a possibility that we give up our lead. So that's on us as, as a team to uh, take care of business. Mm -hmm. Michael, last season in the quarterfinals, Fechter missed some players too, but beat Bamberg even in a series anyway. Um, do you remember? Of course. <laughs> Who wouldn't? What comes to mind? Um, Rasta Festa basketball. I mean, we, uh, we never give up. If somebody's out, it's next man up. And give it all you got and do whatever you can to help the team and help the team win. And tomorrow is no different. This whole tournament has been no different. Uh, of course, you can look at excuses. You can always find excuses. You can always find reasons why. But at the end of the day, you gotta got to find a way. And, mm -hmm. and this is the way we play. This is the way we've been playing uh, under Coach Pedro Callas, and this is how we're going to do it tomorrow. But you see similarities to that was a series, that is just one game. I mean, yeah, some similarities uh, for sure. And uh, Missing players. Missing players is never easy, uh, especially key players. But we don't, we can't do nothing about it. And so we, we got to find a way. If it, if, it, if it was possible in a series, then it should be possible in, in, in one game. Mm -hmm. um, Letin, what does your team need? Well, Michael, what is necessary for a win tomorrow? For us, I think it's playing 40 minutes, not one quarter, two quarters, playing our basketball for 40 minutes. Uh, we've been struggling to do that. Yesterday against Berlin, we, we lose the first half by, I think, 29, and we lose the game by 30, so the second half, um, we obviously were more locked in, and when we do that for 40 minutes, then we give ourselves a chance. It doesn't mean we're going to win, but we will actually have a chance. If we do not do that, it will be hard for us to win the game tomorrow. What do you, as a team, need to take away from uh, Rating's game? <sighs> you know him very well. Yeah, Come I, know on. Him. I, know him. I know him very well. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's an athletic player. He has a, he has a large range of skills. Uh, you cannot take everything away. Uh, I think we're going to have to focus on, on, on playing team defense. Uh, of course, Bamberg is a very talented team, uh, from the point guard all the way down to the center position, power forward positions. Um, you cannot catch every drain drop, drop, rain drop, like our coach says, so we're going to have to do, again, our best to, to uh, minimize their offensive potential. So, if you, I mean, you're an athletic player, everybody knows that if you're going to explode to the rim, any advice for him to get out of the way or what? I'll, I'll leave that up to Mike. <laughs> I'll leave that up to Mike. Okay, guys, we're looking forward to uh, tomorrow's game. It's going to be a hard fight. Thanks for your time. Oh, thanks for okay. having us. Thank you.